Hey guys, Anders here with a weekly update video. Been a while since I've done one, so wanted to get back into the habit of doing these. This week we get Dregan, the region for the game, and some new Pearl Shop items we're going to be going over with. For Dregan, we've been anticipating this release for a while now, and it's finally here. With Dregan, we get Garmoth, the new world boss, and it has a chance to drop a brand new baby dragon pet you can use. The dragon pet can be sold on the marketplace, so if you're unlucky with Garmoth dropping the pet, you can try your hand at pre-ordering one on the market. The baby dragon has the special talent HP bonus and is a special category of pet which means it can only be bred with another baby dragon so keep that in mind. Dregan also introduces the dragon slayer awakening weapon and this is an item that is able to be crafted by procuring several materials found mostly in Dregan and the dragon slayer though badass sounding is a little bit worse than the dandelion boss weapon but it is craftable and it is able to be prepared with both memory fragments and refined black energy residue. Refined Black Energy Residue is a material you craft in Dubinkroon, the capital of Dragon, by using brand new item drops called Black Energy Residue that will drop from monsters throughout all the regions, not just Dragon. So that's kind of good, but it's not a super common drop, so you might as well just use Memory Fragments if you have them, if you don't have luck with getting a dandelion of course. Now Dregan will introduce the new best non-boss armor in the game called the Akum set. Now this armor has two crystal slots, is blue grade, can be reformed to yellow and has similar DP at yellow to boss armor after being reformed. Its set effect is a combination of really Rokaba and Grunel sets so you get evasion plus 5 with 2 pieces, max HP plus 150 with 3 pieces as well as DR plus 5 and finally with all 4 pieces you get all AP plus 7. Pretty good stuff, which should make Lemoria a little less desirable going forward. Now these pieces drop throughout Dregan, so keep that in mind. If you want to get the Akum set, you have to grind in Dregan to get it, or try and buy it on the marketplace. Now I'll be going over more Dregan specific stuff like nodes and resources found in Dregan in a guide I'll make soon, so keep an eye out for that this week. As for events, we received DDoS compensation in game, so check your mail. It contains a GM Lucky Box, GM Blessings, and a couple loot scrolls. Now if you're waiting for the bonus back event rewards those are now also in your mail so make sure you collect those items when you get a chance now part three of celebrating millions has started this week and it's a little crazy we're getting a blessed message scroll every day till the end of the month for playing a hundred minutes now this scroll gives you 200 experience bonus and 30 percent skill experience bonus really nice on top of that we're getting 1000 percent combat experience bonus next weekend the buff will not work during node wars during that week Weekend, so keep that in mind when you grind during that event. Now to celebrate Thanksgiving in the United States, we're getting the King Targargo field boss that will spawn in Flem Hills and Balanos. We've had this over the years. Uh, basically, it's a giant turkey and you do daily quests connected to this event and you get rewards for it. Pretty good stuff. It's not too hard. They've been doing this annoying thing though that uh, this event boss will appear only on random servers but at the same time. So you know when it's going to spawn but you don't know which server it's going to spawn. It's not going to spawn on Arsha or the uh, Olvia servers so keep that in mind if you're a newer player or, or returning player you have to be on one of the normal servers. Now also keep in mind there's no penalty for, to dying to this boss so if you're a lower level don't be afraid to try your hand at fighting this event boss. Uh, if you're in a guild make sure you do those guild missions as you will receive five times the silver award for completing missions all the way up until December 12th that's pretty good you have a long while to take advantage of this particular event and lastly we have the Dregan opening event that will see Dregan seals added to loot tables around the regions. You'll be able to get these from fishing, gathering, and killing monsters mainly. You'll be able to use 10 or 20 to get two types of loot boxes. They're both mediocre to be honest, so choose which one you want more. Uh, one has well tended potions more likely, and the other one has black stones more likely, so it's up to you what you want. Now on to the patch notes themselves. You need to be at least level 58 and have completed the Kama Sylvia questline to start the Dragon main story questline. Garmoth will appear three times a week, so check the boss hunt discord for times and the new field boss Katvariak will only appear in 10 random servers and has a chance to drop the new ruins ring as well as some new combined magic crystals. There are no relevant class balance changes this week apart from just a lot of bug fixes. Now with Dragon, we also have the ability to reform our Kudum and Nuver offhands into Fiery Kudum and Fiery Nuver using the inverted heart of Garmoth which is a world boss drop. Doing so will give you your offhand HP plus 150, stamina plus 100, 
and special attack evasion plus 10%. Not too bad, really. Now, we also get new boss gloves to compete with Begs. The Lieber gloves sacrifice some accuracy for a lot more evasion. This is going to be great for those looking to do DP builds, focusing on evasion. But other than that, I still think Begs is a superior glove since accuracy is so important. Now, three new accessories have been introduced, one of which is currently the best in slot ring. The Eye of the Ruins ring, essentially a Crescent Guardian ring, but with HP on enhanced. Pretty good, but uh, depends on how far away the uh, underwater dungeons are because those will introduce the best in slot Tongrad ring. Now for life skillers, alchemy and cooking imperial boxes have increased in value by 15 to 20 percent. This is a change that came with mastery updates of those life skills in Korea, so it's interesting we get them now rather than after the mastery update. Those mastery updates should be coming to us gradually over the next coming weeks. We also have some new recipes to, to make as well through cooking and alchemy. As for sea monster hunters, you're now unable to damage sea monsters who make their way back to their spawn point which i know was a common tactic used in, in sea monster hunting so i guess that's kind of a nerf i'd say and pearl shop wise we have a couple new bundles but nothing too exciting to be honest make sure to grab those worker lodging expansions if you are planning on using dragon for worker nodes though and the rest of the updates are more quests and knowledge related just be sure to do all the quests available if you're level 58 you can get inventory expansion quests and dragon which is nice and all the dailies and main quests give some good contribution xp so it'll help those with lower cps to get a nice boost and that's it for me guys uh, nice and short to the point i'll have a more in-depth look at dragon in an upcoming video let me know what your thoughts are on dragon in the comments down below are you excited relieved eh, just nonchalant about the whole thing let me know and i just want to give also a huge thanks to those of you giving video and guide requests uh, you make my life a whole lot easier when i try and figure out what content to make for you guys so again thanks a bunch as always thanks for listening i'll see you all in the next one take care